Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the all-time leading scorer in NBA history and arguably the best center of all time. I threw him into the 2020 draft class. So, he, in college in UCLA, he averaged about 23, 15, three and a half, about four blocks, or actually exactly four blocks. Um, let's see what happens. So, the first pick the Charlotte Hornets have, and they select Anthony Edwards from Georgia. Now, the Timberwolves have the next pick. Let's see who they pick. They pick Obi Top and Cleveland Cavs have the third pick. Let's see who the Cleveland Cavs select. They select Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Go to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Wow. That's something. And they say Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is a great 15 rebounds. All right, let's get into his career. He's compared to Bill Walton. Uh, NBA. Yeah. Surprised I didn't just say Hall of Fame. I mean, he'd be Hall of Fame for me. <laughs> Kareem's rookie season is over, and he does indeed win Rookie of the Year, averaging 17 points, 12 rebounds, about assists, 0.5 steals, 2 blocks a game, 50% from the field. Uh, Dennis, you're to 22 of the points with the I'm sorry. Uh, John Morant is the most improved. Um, all rookie teams, yep, obviously. He's now an 85 overall now. We did not make the playoffs. Um, man. Um, trade for Ricky Rubio and Jeremy Lamb. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the offseason. Alright, so the season did end, and Kareem did not win any awards besides averaging 17.5, 11, and 2 blocks a game. Not even a defensive team. Only played 31 minutes a night this year, even though it said he was getting 38. I don't know what that is, but that is his second year. Season number three is coming to a close. Luka Doncic MVP, Money Bates Rookie of the Year, Trey Young sixth man, probably behind Lamelo. Um, Giannis wins a player. Key Cunningham is most improved. They won 40 and 42. Let's see if he made any All NBA teams. Kareem Abdul Jabbar All NBA third team, All Defensive teams maybe. Does not look like it. Um, we're the eighth seed. Let's go check out his stats. See if he made an All Star team. He put up 19 points a game, about 14 rebounds, 2 blocks, 54 from the field. If we go over to him and his accolades, um, or his word history, he was an all-star, 13 on NBA. So yeah, we'll see you guys um, at the end of next season or if we win the NBA Finals, which is not likely. Big signing as we sign Kevin Durant. Alright, it is the NBA, uh, and end of the season, I can't speak. Luka Doncic, your MVP, Ricky the Erko Zabrani, Bo Bo Six Man, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Defensive Player of the Year. Wow, let me actually just like fact check that to see if he ever won it in real life. Did Kareem Abdul-Jabbar ever win a Defensive Player of the Year? <laughs> he... I guess I had to click on a website. But, uh, as that's loading, he averaged 21 points, 15 rebounds, 1.2 steals, 1 steal, uh, 1.2 assists, excuse me, 1 steal, 2 blocks. Um, he... I don't know. I don't think he ever... Well, he has so many accolades. I don't know. But, he did win it in this, uh, online, online save... Uh, Romeo, Romeo Langford, most improved player in uh, LA. Uh, yeah, so Kareem, one year defensive player of the year. See if he made any All NBA teams. Wow, he he won defensive player of the year, but did not make an All NBA team. That is tragic. Um, you already saw his um, stats. I already said it. All Star um, team. He was an All Star starter for Team Luca. We did make the playoffs as a three seed, and I'll see you guys on the next season, or if we win the NBA Finals. Send the season, John Morant. He's the MVP. Um, this guy, six man of the year, Trey Young, James Wiseman, defensive player of the year, Jalen Johnson is most improved, Jacob Underwood, AC coach of the year. Uh, Alright, it is the end of the season. My game may or may not have crashed, so let's see if he made an All-NBA team, and if he didn't, it's kind of rigged. He made the third team All-NBA, but that was in 2023, so he did not. 
Um, let's see if we make an all-star team this year. And he did. He's a four-time all-star. Um, check out his numbers. He averaged 18 points, 12.5 rebounds, 1.2 assists, 0 0.5 steals, 1.3 blocks. So a little bit of a down year from last year. I guess because we have this guy named Kevin Durant. But he only averaged 18.5. Okay, Colin Saxon averaged 23. So we're all kind of touching the ball, you know. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys... Um, at the end of next season or if we go to the NBA Finals and potentially win it. Alright, so the season is coming to a close. Your MVP is Luka Doncic. Uh, six man, Aneke Akungu is in Houston. Alright. Giannis is your defensive player. Holy crap, he put up probably his best numbers yet. Bryce Griggs is your most improved Bill Donovan as your coach of the year. Kareem, finally, NBA second team is a 98 overall. NBA third team here, are you guys. Kareem makes the defensive first team as well. Uh, we did not make playoffs, obviously, with a 31-51 record. See the season stats. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 22 points a game, 15 rebounds, 1.1 assists, one steal, two blocks, 51 from the field. Eric Daly Jr. picked him up with a 15th pick. Con Sexton kind of fell off a little bit from last year. Same with Kevin Durant. Well, he is 38 years old. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys at the end of next season. Alright, the season is over. Mikey Williams is your MVP. Trey Young is your sixth man. Defensive player of the year. Most improved. Luke Wallace is your coach of the year. Kareem makes the NBA first team. Wow. Alright. Uh, all defensive second team he makes. Uh, let's go check out his numbers. We went 28 and 54, which is terrible. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 25 points, 15 rebounds, 2 blocks, 53 from the field. Con Sexton put up about 17. All these guys kind of balance. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Oh yeah, let's go check out the All-Star team. Um, he was a starter for Team Luka. He's a 7-time All-Star. Big news, everyone, as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar does... I mean, he got traded in real life, but he signed a four-year deal worth $190 million a year. Or not a year, but you know, what I'm, you know what I mean, $44 million a year. He's 20 years old, moves to the LA Lakers with Shea Gildas, Alexander, DeAndre Hunter, Joe Burford, Derek White, Orlando, Luke Cornett's an 80 overall. All right, but let's see how uh, he does with the LA Lakers. All right, the season has ended. Luka's your MVP, and by the way, I forgot to mention that Kareem actually won six MVPs in most all time in real life. Uh, casually, ex as he makes the All NBA first team, and he makes the All Defensive second team as well. He hasn't won one yet, and I think he's like 28, 29. Season stats: He averaged 24 points a game, 14 rebounds, 2.3 blocks, so his most blocks yet. Shea Gilds averaged 20. Kind of held back from Kareem scoring, not going to lie, but in Cleveland, he was the best one there. And when I mean, he put up 25 a game, but all of these seasons down here, he should have been higher. He's 29, though. Um, man, he just cannot do well in the playoffs. He's the seventh seed. I'll see you guys at the... Actually, we can go look at the All-Star teams. And he is... A reserve for Team Giannis. I will see you guys if we make it to the NBA Finals, which is probably not likely. Or I'll see you guys at the end of next season. Alright, the season is um, to an end. Utah Jazz Anthony Edwards wins MVP. Um, then plays the year goes to Austin Wiley. 14 14 with three blocks. Alright. Go to the year, Doc Rivers. Kareem, all NBA first team. He also makes the all defensive second team. We did not make the playoffs 33 and 49. Just, I don't know why. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, his best numbers yet are points per game wise. He averaged 26 and a half points, 15 rebounds, assists, a seal, two blocks game shooting, 54 from the field. Uh, did he make an all star team? I mean, check. He is an all star starter. Obviously, he made an all star team, but he's an all star starter for Team Anthony. And I'll see you guys at the end of next season. Alright, this season is coming to a close. We end of season 41 and 41. James Wiseman is the MVP playing in Miami. Uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar is your defensive player of the year. Picking up his numbers, I guess. 
25 and a half points a game, 15 rebounds, 1.2 assists, 1 steal, 2.1 blocks, shooting 54 from the field. Alright, I guess that's what happens when you give them minutes. Uh, all NBA teams, okay. Uh, all defensive first team, and he makes the All NBA second team. Make the playoffs of the seventh seed. Um, I'll see you guys if we make it to the NBA Finals. He's already like, is, what is he, 31 years old that I see? Yeah, he's 31 years old, and he's never even made it out of the second round, I don't think. So I'll see you guys in the next season, or if we make it to the NBA Finals, potentially. The season is near over, and Bronny James is your MVP, averaging 33 in Indiana. Five rebounds and eight assists. Um, skip out of the words. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Defensive Player of the Year. What is that, three now? That is... Uh, Three-time Defensive Player of the Year. Coach of the Year, Lucas Green. Uh, he did make the All-NBA third team, and he made the All-Defensive first team. We go 45-37, and 37, our best record yet in, like, the whole entire thing. I, I, I don't think that's true, but... As you saw earlier, here are 24, 12, 2 blocks. And I'll see you guys in the next season, or I say this literally every season, it's really getting cliche, or if we make the NBA Finals. I just checked play progression, Kareem is no longer on the LA Lakers. After just 4 seasons, I'm just going to type him in. Oh my god. Alright, he goes to... The Pacers with Bronny James that just won an NBA championship. Is he ring chasing at 32? He might be ring chasing at 32. I... They... They just... They just won an NBA championship. They just won an NBA championship. So is Kareem finally gonna go to a good team? In real life, he made himself a good team. Alright, this season... Is ended. Money base MVP is he in OKC? Yep. Uh, rookie of the year, AJ Hampton, six man of the year. Victor, defensive player, or just three and a half blocks. Holy crap. Coach there, Nick Nick Van Exel. Kareem is your All NBA uh, first teamer. He also makes the All, all Defensive second team, and Bronny makes All NBA third team. We have the four seed in the East. Um, Bronny put up 25, 4.4 4, 4, and 8. Kareem put up 22. And a half, 16 career high in rebounds, 2.1 blocks. Or you have also have RJ Barrett and Colin Sexton's only averaging 11 and a half. So you guys, if we potentially make the all, potentially make the all, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. If we potentially make the NBA Finals, if not, I'll see you at the end of next season. The season is over. Kate Cunningham is your MVP. Trey Young is your sixth man. How many times do you want it? Like three, four. Because Lamelo is just overtaking. He's went five times. Oh my god. Um. So let's see if we make any NBA teams. We don't make any. All right. Bronny makes it. What about a defensive team? We should have made a defensive team. All right. I guess Victor is just taking over everything. This man. This man is a machine. But we are the first seed. Finally, good team. Green puts up at 22.2 points a game, 13.3 rebounds, 1.2 assists, half a steal, 1.6 blocks, and 52% of the field. Alright, Bronny put up 27, 5, and 7.5. And Alright, Brett Owens, he was the number one pick. Alright. I see you guys would make the NBA Finals, or if I, we don't, obviously I'll see you in the next season. Alright, we're up. Oh my gosh, we're finally in the NBA Finals. Oh my gosh, let's go check out the stats real quick. Kareem, 22 and a half, 13 point. Basically the same exact numbers as the regular season. We're facing off against a one seeded. Oh, they have a 99 Cade Cunningham, 90 BJ Boston, and they have a Neka Kungu, and an 89, 87, 84, 83, 82. They have a good team. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to them. Game three goes to us. Game four goes to us. And we did it finally. After like, wait, Cream just won it. Cream just won the. I skipped over it. 
I just skipped over it, but he did win finals MVP. Alright, after 14 years or 15 years of simulating, this man finally won NBA championship with the Indiana Pacers. The season is over. James Wise in MVP. Uh, Gary Moore, sixth man of the year. Defense player is Victor. Um, of course, the Owen Taylor. We won 59 th uh, 23. Uh, okay, we do not making it. Why are we not making any NBA teams or even defensive teams? Do we at least make an All Star team? All right, we were an All Star starter for Team Cade. Uh, the numbers that Kareem put up. This year was 23.3 point team, 13.6 boards, one assist, uh, half a steal, 1.6 blocks, kind of like last year. Um, so yeah, we are the first seed, I believe. Nope, we're the second seed. I'll see you guys and make it to the NBA Finals, or I'll see you guys at the end of next season. At this point in time, Kareem is a 94 overall. He's going down. He's classified as a paint beast now. I think he was like a two-way mid-range finisher or something like that. Only got three defensive badge, uh, three Hall of Fame defensive badges now. Um, I think I'm just going to simulate the rest of his career. I'll let you guys know if anything big happens. Defensive play of the year. Um, you know. Uh, um, I wouldn't say on any all NBA teams. But if we went out of the ring, I will definitely let you guys know. And I'll see you guys if that or if he retires. Alright, so I was just going to um check his stats right after like where they selected all the all-stars. And he is no longer on this team. I guess scrolled all the way down. What team could it be on? Um, or obviously they made a trade so we can go to transaction or uh, and go to the Pacers. Oh god. Trade. Um, the Bulls. He's going to the Bulls for Hugh Hughes. This man, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. He's 39, 80 overall. He's a free agent. I don't know if he's going to get signed anywhere, but, I mean, if he doesn't, is he just going to sit in free agency, or is he going to retire? Alright, free agency is over. I want to go see if this man is still, or I really should just take minimum wage. This man is still out here, balling. I think, wait. He's just like, yeah, he, he regressed. He's currently on no team. He's labeled as a finisher now, with 15 badges. Um, I think I'm just gonna like, sim like, a couple weeks of the season, check every now and then, and I'll let you guys know if he signs with the team, or if he retires. I did sim a couple weeks or three, and I looked at social media, and he says, basketball has been good to me, but now it's, um, but now it's to move on, I think it's meant to say, but now it's time to move on to the real world, calling career. And Nate Duncan said, Kareem Abdul Jabbar calls, um, time on his NBA career, is ready to focus on his point basketball life. So I'll see you guys at his retirement. The day has finally came, and Kareem Abdul Jabbar retires at the age of 40. He obviously makes the Hall of Fame playing 1,552 games, averaging 20.5 points, 13 rebounds, 1 assist, 0.5 steals, and 2 blocks a game. Uh, we can go over here. See his numbers? They were around like 20 and maybe 13. Okay, exactly. But his best years was probably in LA, where he averaged 26.5 and 15. He had the one 16 rebound year when he first year in Indiana. Uh, the second year, he had to win his first ring. And only ring. Probably my favorite year out of his was the 25 and 15 year. That was a good year with 2.1 blocks. We can go over to his award history. He's a one time NBA champion. Champion. I don't know why I said championship, but champion. 14 time All Star. I believe he is like an 18 time All Star in real life. Only um, a 9 time All NBA person. And is basically 18 years pro. All right, he won three DPOIs, first um, nine-time All Defensive, Rookie of the Year, first team All Rookie. Career at 55, filled those May 24, filled those empty 35. I'm not sure. Yeah, some of these might be like from his previous in in another world career, but 
yeah, we can, um, we can go look at the NBA records now. Um, if I can get out of here. Uh, total points. He did not end up first like he did in real life. Okay, so this was eight. Wow, he actually was, where is he? I mean, he wasn't as much as a scorer than he was in real life. He was 28th. He put up 31,811 points compared to his, like, 38. Thousand, yeah, compared to his 38,387 field goals made, he was 8th. Um, rebounds, he had about 3,000 more rebounds, 2,900 more rebounds, and he finished 3rd in his other world play career. Blocks, he finished, alright, so he finished 6th in real life, and he finished 16th in the video game. Alright. Um, minutes, he played a lot of games, yeah, 13th all-time in minutes, and points per game, he averaged like 20.5, so that'll put him around like 60. Field goal percentage, okay, that's, okay, that's, okay, that's a career, that's a career for a little percentage. Um, rebounds per game in his career, he averaged like 13.1, I think. So I think that'll put him around like 11th or 10th, kind of like Dennis Rodman. Um, blocks per game, I think he averaged, I don't know, I think it was like 1.6, 1.7. So that'll put him around like in the 40s slash 50s. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that is going to do it, Comstack, than the most games played. All right. But I think that is going to do it for the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar NBA full 2k20 career re-simulation guys enjoy it make sure to drop a like um also drop a comment if you want and peace out